Hello, welcome to, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to some more Starcom. So I just got in here uh, looking at some of the things that I'm doing. Uh, it says that we should be able to research the uh, Starlance equation in the Solano's lab. Um, we need to find more fighter components, uh, and then four plan, uh, case start three big ones, small. Uh, okay, bones of gold, right? Uh, apparently suspect it's working with a trade guild. Uh, the kind of transport organization called the CTEX. Uh, so the trade guild. Okay, so CTX, we need to do more stuff with them. All right, so let's go back here. Let's go talk to Rama. Am I going to have to do... I don't want to do the execute the erasure algorithm now. I want to do the other thing. I don't know what the erasure algorithm is going to do to me. Um, evidently, that's the only thing I can do with her, so I guess we'll do it. Uh, this will erase all research text and refund the research points. This action can only be done once. Okay. So, yeah, so I don't really want to do that. Um... Even though she's kind of forcing me to do it. Because if I do that, I'm going to end up having to rebuild my entire uh, the research tree. Because we're going to lose, like, is there anything that we'd want to lose, though? Like, because we didn't put any points. Um... I think the points I'm I'm at I pretty much just rebuild the ones I have, so I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I don't think. Long Empire is efficient. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, so back back to traveling again. Then Let's see what's over here. Uh, that's the Ring World. We haven't figured that out yet. Let's go, let's go visit the Starlance again. Uh, and just go look at it. Let's see if anything's changed. Let's go. Oh, this has changed. Not gone well for him, but it's changed. Oh no, there's oh we're doing those weapons now. Weapon mass radiation penetrates her all is leak and incredibly dangerous to living tissue. Oh we're doing that now. Alright, we got lots of fun guys. Another data bank. Or more research. All right. Anybody else down here that needs to be shot at? Anyone? Anyone? All right. Let's go look at the star lines real quick. See if it's changed anything. Uh, I'll leave artifact for now. I know. Do that. We're just gonna drive out here into space for a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna be back in a second. Uh, I'm, I'm just we're gonna do some exploring. Uh, I'm gonna get go figure out the thing this Starlance is pointing at, and that usually finds a couple of things. Uh, so I'll be back when I find something. All right, so I'm roaming around, found a, uh, a little place here. I traveled pretty much all the way from the Starlance all the way down. Uh, this was the uh, the location that we found here. So we did find a nice little. A little gate so we can get out of here. Make it a little bit faster to get out. A couple of planets, a couple of stars. See if there's anything in here. I don't remember if there was anything here. I uh, it, it's been it's been a little bit since I made the last one. Like I said, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with the Star Lance because uh, that's obviously what we need to do to uh, push to the next level. Wait, there's there's so much left in this game. Uh, there's still 
a, quite a bit of uh, things to do. Uh, it's this game. They're so it's there's a lot. All right, and we go here. All right, let's go check this last one out. This may just be nothing here, uh, which will be sad. Boy, the team! Ooh, neutronium. Oh, that's a little. That's that's a little. That's a little warm. It's fine though. It's fine. It's fine. It's just it's just fire on on the the left side. No, nobody nobody likes the left side anyway. All right, so that didn't really do us any good. Let's see. So the star lance is still there. That is that guy still in front of you. Glider trader. Unscanned desert. How do I have an unscanned desert? All right, let's go fix that problem. So still, it's a lot of scanning, a lot of driving around. Uh, it's still kind of figuring out what you're trying to do. And like I said, you can get kind of lost here. Uh, oh, cargo. Yeah, I'm still not sure. Previously unknown object closing. Uh, why, 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 why is this? Oh, more digestion. Or devout Jetstrom. Floatstrom. Empty boy ever since I was highly radioactive, even the shield and casing itself is giving off hard radiation. Alright. Powerful and unique radiation signal. Like it when you have some downtime. So whenever you find weird stuff like that, uh, it's best to always pick it up, research it, because uh, it it's the game's way of helping you to prod you along to uh, to find different things that you're you're missing uh, and get to the next portion of the. So just doing some traveling around, and uh, it just it just a uh, an asteroid. Uh, asteroid, but a, a comet. We'll wait a little bit, see if it comes back. Send the survey team. I see sandstorm and errors. Just moment later, superimposed appears, swirling dust. Neutronium. Ooh, the brass connector. Give it a second to see if the comet comes back. Oh, there's a red guy. Let's go talk to him instead. Ooh. Oh, no, you shot. Think, oh, get out of that. Oh, the devout have definitely upgraded. Not helping them a lot, but they have definitely upgraded. Oh no, we're on fire. Oh, well, they're on fire too. All right. Oh, they were on more fire than we were, so that's the important part. All right, so what's this one? Oh, planetoid. Oh, that's a that's a travel out there. I don't want to travel out there. Uh, that thing's still. What are you guys doing? I have two on skin. Uh, felt for detecting devout floatrum. Okay. Did you find anything? Low level readings in near match. 
Marking it on the nav map. Ooh, there it is. Let's go. Let's go there instead. I changed my mind. Oh, I gotta go find the devout. We're gonna we're gonna go kick the hornet's nest, boys. And see how it works out. We are going to go have a chat with some devout. Alright, so that should give us we gotta fly right over their, their home world. That should that should make them happy. We shouldn't run into anything bad down here. I'm sure, oh, look, there they are, right there. We've... Yep. Gonna kick the old hornet's nest here. Titanium, some aluminum. See, and like I said, we're still... I think we're still in the explorer freaking body? Like... We are we are definitely definitely way stronger than they than we should be. It is fine though. Right, into the float stream. All right, back uh, straight through the sun. They'll be fine. Just activate the shields. All right, uh, we're a little bit on fire. All right, um, be back when we get down closer. See you in a minute. All right. The red nebula is not normal product gas or dust from the star formation. Radiation result isotopes cannot be extended normal stellar fusion processes. All right. So we're up to 45 more experiences. Or 45 more researches. We got a couple of stars over here. So we'll go ahead. We'll change. Uh, we're going to go go investigate these. And then on the way to the other star, we'll look. And uh, Oh, there is a bunch of planets down here. There's a bunch of planets down here. Be surprised if we don't run into some sort of... Um... Well, I'm surprised we haven't run into resistance already, to be to be fair. Uh, I, I figured there would be somebody down here that would be unhappy. Uh, rules of primitive establishment, complex life, centuries longer, textbooks, unfortunately, trains collected and connected to a data bank. Uh... Yeah, definitely recalibrate the device. I can't see a single problem wrong with that. Device has been successfully recalibrated as a single uh, use training program installed. Boulder in survival. Speculates that a may be biomed skills. Now, it'd be nice if I could see like what my skill levels were. I can't open it though. Um, Kepler. Vice emerges dizzy and fatigued, but feeling improved understanding of multi-species biology. Had the team returned to the ship. Uh, I had Kepler do it. Was it Kepler? Kepler. Uh, yeah, Biomed 1. So we should have had uh, Rhea do it. Uh, but I didn't know who the Biomed was. They'll be alright. They'll be okay. Somebody else having biomed is not necessarily a bad deal. There, there is a uh, a thing we'll end up running into later where you want to have um, like one of your guys needs to have a bunch of skill points and like three different things to be able to do something, and uh, that's kind of why I'm saving my points right now. Uh, so that way, once I get to that, uh, I can have a good chance at doing that. Because uh, that thing was a pain. Alright, so we got all that stuff there. So now we'll head back out to the where the float stream is supposed to be. Hey, Kepler's recovered. I want to say Kepler was the one I used for that last time anyway. Uh, so uh, it's just it's, it's one of those things. You try to find somebody that's a good start and then just push them, push them up. All right, nothing there. Drive over this other red star. See if there's anything over there. 
Anything? Anything? Just out searching. Searching the Red Nebula. Ooh, nice planet. <laughs> Is that all that's over here? That's not helpful. Scanning, deploying. Uh, I saw your cluster of structures, otherwise desolate planets. I the team finds zero, uh, a few dozen deceased about wearing virus suits, temperatures of uh, rest decay, cause of uh, death is unclear. A top up level under search. We see it. Okay. Mission team has some partial success analyzing the past. Problem is sheer volume. Exobytes of data and uh, indices have been erased in hardline. Bandwidth is narrow. Random sampling shows that whatever is being researched covered extremely wide area of chemistry, xenobiology, nuclear physics, and more. See, this is when you send another ship over here and then have them go pick everything up. Nothing has obviously changed since the last visit. Okay, that's not helpful. All right, so... All right, well, that wasn't helpful. Let's go up there. So, just kind of poking around in the death, in the darkness, up uh, looking for a needle in the haystack. And instead, I found a warship in the haystack. Oh, we picked up a swarm warhead. That'd be really helpful if we were going for missiles. I want to see. I do. I just travel out here. All right, I'm going to just go travel to the darkness again. Uh, back in a few. Well, this wasn't fruitful. <laughs> and it isn't always. Uh, sometimes you just have to kind of stab out to the darkness and see if you can find something. Uh, we haven't figured out what these guys are here for yet. Uh, let's go visit one of them. Uh, and I will uh, talk to y'all when I get over there. Talk to y'all soon. The following us, parasite play the CTA access to our medical supplies. The parasites that are certainly bred or engineered within. Okay. All right. So the CTX asked us to deliver something that I don't know about. I don't remember seeing that. It's hard to say, uh, but we're almost back and to the travel mode again. Oh, we got somebody chasing us. That'll be fine. Uh, we're just gonna we're, we're gonna let that one live. We'll come back and get him later. So uh, th there's and those things pop up from time to time, especially as you travel. Uh, you're uh, they're always talking in the background <laughs> about different things and and stuff. So, uh, but we definitely could improve our ship some. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of guys over here that, that are angry about it. Okay, all right, you know what? You guys are probably not even worth really my time to deal with. Um, let's see, where was I going? I was going out here. We were going out there. Uh, so a lot of time spent uh, traveling, a lot of time spent exploring, a lot of time trying to run into different uh, the different species, and trying to uh, do missions for them, build up um, you know allies and things like that. So especially with the devout being being the devout and uh, building uh, anti Geneva Convention weapons. Uh, evidently, uh, there in space there is no Geneva Convention. Like, <laughs> uh, who are these guys? Oh, it's a collector and a forcer. Oh, it's the, the little can. It's been a while since I've dealt with them. They were smart. They ran away. Uh, we got two other ones over here, too. So maybe we'll just run through those stars real quick. That is a blue star. I know that thing that popped up says something about a blue star so maybe we'll just run out through there real quick uh and then uh we'll just kind of kind of do that uh like i said a lot of exploration in this game a lot of of driving from point to point trying to figure out what you're doing 
uh, and uh, just kind of following along with the cargo. Uh, Swarm Warhead, let's analyze that. Brass Connector, definitely analyze that. Uh, missile Variant in the lab. Uh, and then if we go back to our missions here, right? Uh, actual sample of the research will be able to partially reconstruct the normal database, right? So we just need more re research. Something else is closing. Nobody knows what it is. All right, good. We got another another portal so we can get back out here again. So that would be helpful. Been helpful if I had found that the first time. Uh, I've been seeing before, prompting them to collect a series of ice core samples. Yay, research. Nothing. Ooh, that's a weird, weird star. Topped in the star's rating almost due to radiate heat. As under the large scale fusion of short time and the mechanism. Alright, so we'll go out here to the next one. We'll go out to this orange star. Uh, and then we're going to drive out to the blue star. We'll kind of see what's going on. Uh, as always, like I said, if y'all like these videos, you want to see more of them, please consider throwing a like on them. It does really help the channel. Uh, it, it tells the algorithm that you, you like it, and it tries to show it to more people that like similar things. Uh, so it, it really does help the channel. Uh, currently, we're kind of in a push trying to get as far as we can, uh, and just trying to trying to build the channel. And uh, so if you do have questions, comments, concerns, all this stuff, there, there's th space for that down below. Uh, and then uh, there's a button down there, too, for the subscribing. Uh, and that, that really helps the channel. Uh, so do appreciate all the all the support and everything that everybody's been giving us. Uh, so the uh, channel's actually made some pretty good growth, mostly due to uh, Starcom, which is cool that that so many other people are enjoying the game. Uh, and it's kind of, kind of taken off. The game is amazing. Uh, like I, I, I'm just, I'm happy that, that I was able to find it, that it popped up on my radar a while ago. Uh, and then, uh, it's continued to be covered and the, the dev has just done an amazing job. Uh, and, uh, it, when you have a good game, it's really easy <laughs> to, to enjoy playing it. Basically, home with some modern complex life forms or prosaic, but with smooth or fog and numerous organic modules. Yay, titanium! Well, there were people living there, but we stole all their titanium, so. Do, 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 do. I was really hoping there would be something fun out here. Then I guess we'll just go drive out to the Blue Star. Separately went extinct, also abandoned. Archaeological site, much more advanced civilization. Based on scattered data logs, recent survey, especially look for lost civilization. Known as the Arcadians, investigating the planet of Boston, Canada, they abandoned their study, including civilization was far too old to be a candidate. Oh, looking for the Arcadians. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Go here, go back to missions, right? So we just kind of, kind of keep poking at this and figure out what we're trying to do. And I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna have to reset my that to get the Starlink or the Starlance thing. Uh, it kind of, I don't want to reset because uh, at this point I'm just gonna put the points right back to pretty much where I have them. And that's not really what that thing's supposed to be used for. It's supposed to be used for mistakes. Do, 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 do. Going out, traveling across the black here. Seeing, seeing what we can see. Anyone? Anyone? Just being slow. Ooh, it's orange. Find a, find a planet yet? Find something to explore other than a star? Oh, there's a bunch of little planets. Uh, compare the modules from the crust of yellow fog anomaly that located in space. The ochre fog anomaly included the later result of the former breaking down over years. Hmm. Now, found several connections between devout experience and large-scale catastrophes being 
So they have sinister intent. They may be cleared a picture of their research to construct data indices of their lab. All right, so I think we need to go back and talk to that lab again, maybe. Uh, decaying isotopes mark the unmarkable Tafalate civilization. Making rapid comeback. Next civilization should be ready uh, roughly 2.5 million years. So just a little while. Just a little bit of time. No anomalies there. Crews have gained one XP's. Uh oh, who's this? The legendary steed of Whiskamug. Anyone? Anyone? Nothing. Come on. Nothing. All right. Oh, we got explodey bits up there. Let's go see what's in the explodey bits. I like the explodey bits. They usually they're usually fun stuff to pick up there. I need to go back and check and see because we've picked up a couple of neutronium and stuff like that. So it'll be nice to see if if we made any progress. Titanium and platinum. Let's see. Uh, just an asteroid. Rich in titanium, but little else. So basically this is uh, a good place to come get titanium. Gotta come here, throw some Uh, not a lot of titanium in here, to be honest. For some place that's rich in titanium, you'd think there'd be more of it. Alright, so we do have a titanium field. Alright. Uh, let's see. Back to there now. Alright, uh, I will holler at you guys when I get back to the icy planet over there. Talk to y'all soon in a little bit. Alright, we're almost back down here. Uh... Gonna go see if we can re indicize the uh, their their data banks here and put them back together. Oh, good, we have friends again. Hi. Oh, you're a big guy. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You got no engines. You got no engines, Lieutenant Dan. Go ahead, put those. Oh, you got a shield. You should get your money back for that thing. Come back here. Go out, Star. Ooh, Starlance databank. I like it. Ooh, a Charlite. Oh, this is. These guys have got all kinds of good, yummy center cores. All right, redeploy. Nothing has up. Mm, have instant reconstructed the labs database. Yeah, let's do that. Too much data upload, indices reconstructed, and it's clear view of the lab activities, it's clear weapons research facility. Apparently, uh, recently gained access to some powerful uh, computing or AI resources they're using to research numerous large scale weapon programs. Uh, disparate biological silicon based life uh, began narrowing the research focus certain organic life processes. Oh, goody. New radioactive cloud message as a result of the research. So basically, they made a genetic weapon to try to wipe us out. All right, uh, so that's helpful. Uh, so I guess we'll just head back uh, towards space uh, and see what's going on there. I'm sure I'm sure we're running out of people on the way. Uh, like I said earlier in the uh, the thing, uh, if y'all like these videos, please consider throwing a like on them, especially if you watched it this far. Uh, and uh, if you have a question, a comment, a concern. You can leave that down below. I'll do my best to try to get to those uh, between work and trying to film things and stuff. It's uh, time constraints, but but I, I try. Uh, and then uh, if you haven't subscribed and you want to, there's a button for that also. Uh, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.